So a lifetime ISA can be a really lucrative place to put your savings or your investments. Up to £4,000 every year can be put into one of these accounts. And in return, you'll get a 25% bonus from the government on that initial deposit. Plus, you'll earn either interest or hopefully, if it's invested, it will make some gains uh, over the years uh, as it kind of grows in value. So it's one of the best ways you can put your money aside. There are, of course, a number of restrictions. You can only open it if you're aged between 18 and 39. And you can only pay into it until you're 50. Plus, you can only use it for one of two purposes. You can either use it for buying your first home or you can use it for your retirement. You can access it when you're at the age of 60. Now, if you don't do it for either of those two different reasons, then you're going to get hit by a charge. Basically, a 6.25% penalty is going to come into play if you don't take it out for one of those reasons, unless you have a terminal illness. That's the only other reason you're going to be able to take your cash out of it. Now, this video isn't going to go into all the details, the pros and cons of a lifetime ISA, whether you should be using them for your home or for your retirement, how they compare for homes with a help to buy ISA, how they confirm, uh, compare with pensions, either employment pensions or self-invested personal pensions for retirement, because I've covered that already in a video from a couple of years ago, and I've just watched it again, and I'll just be repeating myself. So make sure you watch that video as well. It goes into much, much more detail about all the different reasons you can and can't use it. What I'm going to use this video for, though, is a quick 2023 update. I will, at the end, give you the best cash savings rates. I'll also talk about uh, which ones will accept transfers in, because that's something that can be a bit of a problem, particularly once you go over the age of 40. But before that, just a quick update. It's probably by just giving that little pre seed that I've just told you about, that kind of little brief summary. Things haven't changed with Lifetime ISIS since they were launched back in 2017. So it's been going for a while now, for five, six years. Yeah, six years. Um, and this is going to be slightly problematic. And it's another thing that's not in that video that's worth considering, is that that sort of sense of having it for your first property, it is still capped at £450,000 for the value of the property. Now, if you are living in London, that could be really difficult. Elsewhere in the country, other places, it might not be too much of an issue, but it's certainly something to think about. It's also something to think about that if you are quite young right now, remember you can open one of these at 18 years old. If you're opening up one thinking, well, maybe I'd love to have that free money, that free 25% bonus on my money I put into it, but I might not be buying for 10, 15 years. Who knows? It could take a long time, as we know, to get your first property then there is possibly that risk if they don't make any changes to it. And surely they've got to. There has been a lot of pressure recently for them to do something, but they haven't done anything yet. Surely at some point that will have to increase. But it's just worth bearing in mind that you put your money in and if for some reason the place you want to buy at that time, whether you're in the South or elsewhere in the UK, if you can't, if it's more than the LISA will allow, more than the lifetime ISA will allow, then you're going to have that choice of leaving it until you're retired or getting hit with that penalty. And one more thing about that penalty, there's also been a lot of campaigning to say, look, we should get rid of this 6.25% uh, charge. Effectively, you basically, how it works is cover it in that other video. But let's say you put in 80 quid, okay? You get a 25% bonus, takes you up to 100 pounds. If you take that money out for any of the other reasons than buying a house or your retirement, there's also a 25% penalty. With the example we've just given of 100 pounds, that would take you down to 75 quid. You put in 80, you get 75 back. That's where that 6.25% uh, penalty comes from. Just in case you're confused, hang on, where's that from? Okay, so 25% up, but 25% off is more than that. That is still there. It could well change. Obviously, if it does, I will let you know here on the channel over on the blog as well. Let's talk about transfers now because this is something I didn't really cover in that other video. So it's worth just giving you an update on where things are here because there's a lot of things in theory, but in practice, it's very much a different matter. So why would you want to transfer your lifetime ISA? Well, when you first opened your lifetime ISA, whether you've already got one from previous years or whether you're opening round one now for the first time, it may be giving you the best interest rate on a cash ISA or it may be one of the best uh, or lowest fee paying options for your stocks and shares lifetime ISA. But in a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever it be, however long you have this account open for, that could change. So obviously, you want to look around and see if you can get a better rate or maybe a lower fee. Or maybe, again, with Stocks and Shares Lifetime ISAs, it's about a, a broader range of investment opportunities or maybe something that's a lot simpler. 
So you want to have a look at seeing what those other things are. And that's a theory, like with any, or not all, but with most other ICEs, there is the potential for you to transfer from your existing one to the new one. You move all your money across without it impacting on that £4,000 annual allowance. Really important you do it via this transfer method. You don't withdraw the cash because if you do that, you'll get hit by that penalty we spoke about. But also, if you've got more than 4K, it will all go uh, against, uh, you won't be able to put more than that in in that year. So really, really important to do this transfer and move that money across. That's the theory. In practice, there aren't that many that will let you do this. And the big, big problem is if you are over 40 years old now, you've got even less choice in where you can move an existing one to. So let's have a look at the transfer policies for cash lifetime ISAs. So uh, alphabetical order here, uh, as you can see, only a couple of them, only three of them will uh, allow you to transfer over at any age, over the age of 40. So Beehive Money, Moneybox and Nude will only let you transfer in, i.e. open up a new cash lifetime ISA with them and transfer from your existing one if you're under the age of 40. However, Newcastle Building Society, Paragon Bank and Skipton Building Society, they will let you open up a new lifetime ISA if you're over 40, as long as it's just for transfers in. You will not be able to pay any more money into that. It's just for transfers over. Uh, relatively simple there. You want to go for whatever the best rate is. That will change, obviously. We'll talk about where they are right now at the moment. But again, bear in mind, work out what your current rate is and see if any of these ones where you can transfer over are giving you a better rate. Let's look at stocks and shares uh, transfer policy. Stocks and shares lifetime ISA transfer policies now. So what you need to bear in mind here, when you transfer over from a stocks and shares lifetime ISA, the vast majority of them, if not all of them, will sell all your shares into cash and then transfer the cash over. And then you can invest that again in the new lifetime ISA. And it can take time for that to happen and there may well be some charges that come into into play so it might cost you a little bit so make sure you do the maths to work, work out if it is worth you doing this but broadly speaking as you can see if you are over the age of 40 there are was well, one option just one option but let's go through uh that one first of all that is doddle the second one on the list here that is actually from aj bell uh, it's a kind of a newer app-based investment platform they've, they've set up with the idea of making things a bit faster and a little bit cheaper. In fact, much cheaper than the AJ Bell uh, normal stocks and shares lifetime ISA for, for many things. Uh, that one you can open at any age and you can transfer your lifetime ISA, stocks and shares ISA, into that one, no problem. In fact, I should say, uh, when we're talking about this, you can also, because they're converting the money into cash anyway, you can obviously convert them, if you want to, into a cash lifetime ISA and vice versa, because you then got to invest that cash afterwards. That's the only one over the age of 40. If you're under 40, you've got a few more options here. AJ Bell would allow it. Nude would allow it. Moneybox will allow it. And one family will allow this. Unity Mutual, not quite sure. I couldn't find that information on there. They do allow transfers in. Again, I don't know whether it's under 40s or any age, but certainly if you're under 40, you can transfer a, a stocks and shares, a lifetime ISA or a cash lifetime ISA over there if you wish to. You cannot, with Forrester or Hargreaves Lansdowne, transfer in a lifetime ISA into their lifetime ISA. Okay, so you're stuck there. If you want that one, you're somewhere else and you're over the age of 40, you've got no joy. Obviously, you don't have to transfer. If you're under 40, you can just open up a new one and invest in that. You just can't pay into more than one in the same financial year. But if you wanted to, you could open up a new one every year at different providers. Um, but obviously, it makes sense if you can to keep it all together. Uh, particularly if you're buying your first home, you'll probably want to transfer them all into a single lifetime ISA at the end. So if you can't do that, that could become problematic. So let's look at the best lifetime ISAs now. I'm not, as I always say on this channel, going to look at the stocks and shares ones because I don't talk about investing in detail on this channel. But as you saw from that list just now, let's get it back up again. There are not that many which do invest in, do stocks and shares lifetime ISAs. This is the probably the most of the list there. There may be one or two others out there, but that's the most of them out there. Really what you want to be looking for with these are the charges and the range of uh, different funds and different investment opportunities that are open to you. If you want to keep it simple, then the likes of Doddle or uh, Nude or Nutmeg or Moneybox, uh, they are going to be the ones which kind of have these set number of funds from like two to eight, whatever it might be. Um, and you can just choose those based on your own kind of uh, appetite for risk. 
Um, again, have a look at the fees and the charges that come with that. If you want to do something a bit more broader, you want to look at different types of shares, individual shares, or much, much, you know, thousands of different options, then you're choosing between AJ Bell and Hargreaves Lansdowne. Now, broadly speaking, uh, Hargreaves Lansdowne would probably be cheaper than AJ Bell. Um, and then in terms of the other ones, uh, Doddle probably be cheaper than uh, some of the other stocks and shares ones as well, where there's more funds involved. But again, have a look at that, work out what one works best for you. Because with a lifetime ISA, you're only putting a maximum of £4,000 every year. With that top up, that's a maximum of £5,000 a year. Yes, you could have it for well, quite a few years, I suppose, if you open one at 18. But the amount you put in there may well not be so astronomical that the fee is going to make that much of a difference. And finally, let's look at the best cash lifetime ISAs, the ones that pay the best interest. Before I do show you those right now, it's worth just pointing out to you, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know this, but rates change all the time, particularly over the last sort of 15, 16 months. With all the Bank of England base rate increases, we've seen them not always, but we've seen them passed on to other savings accounts getting bigger and bigger, higher and higher every month. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. I will obviously update you in my regular savings updates, which come out every single month, sometimes more, with the best rates. And including that will be changes to lifetime ISAs. But let's have a look at where we are right now. Now, top of the table is Moneybox, their cash lifetime ISA. They will pay 3.5% for the first year. After that, it drops down to 27 five percent now if there's an increase in their rate that in both of them will increase but also it will still drop down that bonus is just for the first 12 months below that is beehive money which actually is from a building society uh from uh, nottingham that is three percent right now so obviously after a year based on current rates it would be higher than money box but you just obviously don't know where these will move as years go on then there's nude three percent however i would not bother with nude uh, it has a two pound monthly fee and you can easily beat it above and in fact the rates below will beat it as well based on most balances because that's going to add up quite a hefty amount over the years you probably want to avoid that one in previous years it has been quite a lot higher than others and you might have been worthwhile paying the fee but as it stands right now i wouldn't go for it they've also that union mutual one which i mentioned just now i haven't got it in the table here because it isn't a cash lifetime isa it is a stocks and shares lifetime isa but it does give for this year a three percent guaranteed return so again you might want to consider that you'll get a guaranteed return every year how much it will be will vary uh, there is potential because it's invest, in based uh, in invested in the stock market uh, on some fares that it could be in future years it may well be able to beat the cash options uh, then we have paragon beyond society newcastle beyond society and skipton beyond society uh, between two and a half and 2.3 percent air at the bottom you may remember when we looked at the ones that allow transfers in they are the ones that do this so there's not much difference. If you're currently with Moneybox or Beehive, there's no point transferring it to one of these because they pay less. And if you're with uh, Skipton, which is the lowest one, is it really worth moving it for an extra 0.2 uh, percentage points? Probably not. But again, I will update that over on becleveryourcash.com forward slash savings uh, anytime there are any changes for the most recent uh, lifetime ISA rates. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. For more information on lifetime ISAs and savings, check out these videos right here.